Hey guys, welcome to the Margol Super Rush website. Hopefully in this website we get to know more information about this game because I really want to get my mind a little bit clearer about what's going on in this game. So let's talk about the game cover. You have Mario hitting the golf ball while you have Luigi, Toad, and Peach staring in the back. This reminds me a lot of Mario Golf 64. It kind of looks very similar to it, especially the way Mario looks. You can see that Toad is wearing his unique costume, same as the rest. But it just gets me a little bit excited to see how other characters are going to be wearing their clothes. I'm pretty sure DK is going to be in this game. And hopefully Diddy Kong because he has been in previous Mario Golf games too. If Toad's costume looks more unique than Mario and Luigi's per se, I'm pretty sure other characters will look amazing too. Okay, so let's scroll down here. So first of all, we have the price of the game, which is $60. I personally don't think that a golf game should be $60, but if we look at the bright side, maybe $60 could mean that Mario Golf is going to be a big game or a game that has a lot of features. So I'm really hoping for Mario Golf to have a lot of content, a game that we could play for years to come, especially if this is going to have online. Okay, so we have the screenshots here. I'm going to click on the first one. And here's a screenshot we have that we saw back in the trailer. But there are some things I want to point out that I did not point out before. First of all, you have the map there, which is amazing. I still love how they have the map there. You get to see the arrow exactly where your direction is pointing at. You do have the wind at the top left. Something in the older Mario games had was that there will be an arrow where the wind is blowing. But every time you rotate the camera, the arrow would also follow wherever you're facing which is amazing and I really hope they do the same thing with this game but if you kind of see how they have it there it doesn't look like the arrow is going to be rotating as you move the camera because as the arrow rotates it looks like it's going to be too big for it to even fit through that bar so that's kind of a downer. Another thing I did not mention in the first impressions video is the clubs all in the very right. For those of you who don't know much about golf different clubs give you different power the club that is on the very top the one w is the strongest one and the weakest one is the pt and the difference about these is it's not only the power so let's say the one w is the most powerful one which makes your golf ball go very far but also before you even hit the ball it kind of gives you an indication of where the ball is going to land if you use a club that shoots the ball very far, if you kind of put physics to account, it is going to make the ball bounce further than what you expect it to land. So the indicator will tell you where the ball is going to bounce in the very beginning, but you still have to take account that the ball is going to bounce and roll through the grass. Another club, the SW, is a very weaker club. This one shoots the ball very high and it does not go far which is a little bit more accurate because the higher you throw a ball, the less it's going to bounce. And you'll typically be using this when you're very close to the hole. So if you're a beginner and you don't really know much about golf, just know that the further you are from the hole, the more the ball is going to bounce. And the closer you are to the hole, the less the ball will bounce. Okay, so this is the screenshot for speed golf. There is a time right there, which I did not mention before, and I don't even remember if I saw it. But it does say 13 seconds. I don't know what that means. It probably means that you have 13 seconds to reach the golf ball that you are trying to reach. I don't know what happens if you run out of time. But that's why we have to wait until the game comes out so we can know. If you see at the very top, you see Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Bowser. They all have their point system there, which is zero points. So they're just beginning. You do have a bar that goes to a golf ball. I don't think... This tells you the distance of how you are from the hole because if that were the case, then that picture would be a flag instead of a golf ball. My guess for that bar is how much they hit the ball. So if you see Peach's bar, it's kind of low. So maybe she didn't hit the ball as far. And you see Mario and Luigi they're, and Bowser, they hit the ball pretty far. So maybe that's why they're right next to each other. Another thing about the screenshot is that you see Mario, Luigi, and Bowser. And that makes me think that different characters are going to have different playstyles. Obviously, Bowser is not going to be a fast character. He's used to he's used to being a slow character. 
But in the older Mario games, he is one of the strongest characters there are. So maybe Bowser's more as a strategic type, more of an accuracy power type instead of running. So this is going to greatly encourage different playstyles, which I actually really like. Looking at the trailer, characters do have their own power up. So maybe Bowser will have a unique power up that could make him very fast. Or maybe he'll do something to damage other players. There is a stamina bar in the bottom. And I feel like this is very good because there are two types of players that you're going to see a lot during the speed golf. One is people who want to be very accurate. They want to hit the golf ball as close to the hole as possible or they don't want to mess up. They want to hit it on the fairway or close to the green as possible. And you're going to have other players who are going to mindlessly just hit the ball and run. I think that's not going to be a good way to play, especially since you have that stamina bar in the bottom. For balance, I feel that players who hit the ball very far should get very good items so that they can reach the ball faster. And for players who just keep hitting the ball very softly just to run and then hit, run, hit, run, hit, run. I feel like those players should get weak power-ups or maybe no power-ups at all. Just to encourage the players to play a little bit more accurate. And that is something I'm really hoping for. Okay, so let's go to the next screenshot. And right here we have story mode. So we have Hammer Bro saying, all right, we'll get started with a straightforward shot on flat ground using your approach wedge, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like that they're finally going to show these minions and give them a little bit more something to do because I love Hammer Bro. And lately, Hammer Bro has been getting a lot of love. You see him in Super Mario Odyssey where you could pl finally play as him. You see him in Mario Party 8. So he's a little bit more developed now than he used to be back in the day. And I feel like story mode is going to be a huge part of this game. Not only because there's a story. I don't think there's going to be a strong story because it's golf. But because you're going to be playing as the me itself. This game is going to have multiplayer. It's going to have online. Which means that you want to pick a very strong character. Which I'm going to be talking about in a bit. But for right now, I think story mode is going to be very good. Because it's going to be teaching players to know how to play golf and since this is going to be a new type of way to play golf i highly recommend for both rookies and pros to play story mode and learn how to play the game because even if you're a pro this game is going to play a little bit differently so i feel like everybody's going to be on the same level when it comes to first starting this game so if you're someone who's just beginning to play mario golf and you're kind of worried that there's going to be professionals pretty much winning every single match you don't have to worry because I'm pretty sure those professionals are going to have to relearn how to play this game, especially since this is way different than every Mario Golf that we had before. Okay, so here's the part I want to talk about. So if you see in the very bottom, you do see a ranking system. There's a total of six stars and she's obviously on the very first star. So that means that all the stats that you see there, they could increase by a lot. So 168 yards, I feel like that's already big. But if you keep going up the ranking system, it's going to get a lot bigger. And you still have three points there to add to your status. So I like how Mario games are starting to implement coins to actually be useful into these games. Because coins could pretty much do anything. They're the currency of the world. They let you do anything. Like, let's say, buy new clothes or maybe even upgrade your status. But this is something I really do want to get into because this could have so much potential, especially when it comes to online. When you're customizing your me, you could literally choose any stat that you want to increase. So let's say you want your me to focus on power and be very slow, then you could do that. You're going to have to make a sacrifice there. You can make your me run very fast, but you have to give up on power. This could greatly affect the way that you play. Something that I'm really hoping for is for a me to have different profiles. So let's say you have your me and you're focusing on power. Hopefully there's a way you could save that. So let's say you want to reuse your me and have him focus on speed. Then you could switch that instantly. Maybe they could have it so there are different me's and each me you could give them different stats. But the thing about that is I'm pretty sure everybody wants to choose the same me over and over again. So that's why I'm really hoping there to be different profiles for the same me character. Another thing about this is that you could make your me into a pro character. And I mean like a top tier character. And that has very great potential because if you're playing online, 
And if your Mii is not that powerful, you're going to be seeing the same characters again and again. Let's say Bowser and Rosalina back in the 3DS. They were the two strongest ones. You don't want to see nothing but Bowsers and Rosalinas every single time you play against other people. That's going to be boring. And also, if you play against different characters, let's say Yoshi, you know Yoshi's going to be fast. Bowser, you know he's going to be strong. Mario, you know he's going to be balanced, so he could be kind of tricky. Maybe if they have Boo, he could be a little bit tricky too. But pretty much what I'm trying to say is, if you play against someone online and they pick a specific character, you know exactly how they are going to play. A good thing about picking the me is that you have no idea how their stats is. You have no idea if they're going to be powerful or if they're a speedy type. Because if you're doing the speed golf, they're going to be using items on you. And you don't know the type of play style they have. And that's something I love. It's a surprising factor that you have no idea who you're going up against. And choosing your own stats pretty much gets you a good advantage on the play style that you choose. And that's why I'm really hoping for there to be different profiles. Or maybe if you want to change the stat of your me. Maybe you could go back and change it again to a completely different playstyle. And another reason why I do like the Mies in Mario Golf is because, again, you don't want to play against Rosalinas and Bowser every single time you play online. You want to go against Mies because you want different varieties. Not every me is going to look the same. That's the great thing about Mies. They have different personalities. They look completely different than yours. You have your own character. You don't want to go against the same character every single time you play golf because it's just going to be boring. So I feel like this feature alone has the greatest potential ever. Also, as far as I know, I don't think there has been a game recently where you could choose your me character. I mean, there is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but every single me character is wearing a helmet. So they all pretty much look the same because you're just looking from the back of their head. So this game is going to be a game where you could actually see your me character. And since you could be changing clothes, I hope that you can, then you get to customize your me even more. Okay, so now let's go to the next one. So here you have Mario doing a power-up shot to the golf ball. This could mean that he's using an item. Most likely it's because he's using an item. Or maybe this could be the effect you use when you do a perfect shot. Even though there's no accuracy in this game, maybe this will activate when you hit the ball to the highest part. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a power-up. So I'm pretty excited to see everybody's animation of how they look like when they hit the ball. Okay, so here are the motion controls. Pretty much there's nothing to say about this. It's just motion controls. I'm probably going to play this once or when I'm bored. The Joy-Cons do have wrist straps with them, but... I, for me, I kind of took them off. There is a way to disassemble the grip and take away the wristbands without cutting it. So if I were to let someone borrow my Joy-Cons controllers, they'll probably throw it at the TV. So I kind of don't want to risk that. So this is something I really have nothing to say about. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. And I don't really recommend playing this because motion controls could not really be that accurate. If you want to try it out for yourselves, try playing Wii Sports and try playing golf with that. And if you like it, then go for it. And if you don't like it, then I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Just with a little bit better motion controls. Okay, now that we have all the screenshots done, let's keep going down. Tee off with family and friends in the biggest Mario Golf game yet. First of all, I love that they say that in the biggest Mario Golf game yet. It's giving it potential. It's hyping it up. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Hit the green with up to four players locally or online and golf with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters. And there it is. It's officially local and online, which is very good. For local, I don't know what they mean. For local, does that mean that you get to play with the same controller on the same Switch? Or does that mean that you have to play with different Switches, but you could be next to each other? What I'm hoping for is that you could play multiplayer using only one Switch. Because if you play the older Mario Golf games, you could actually play multiplayer using only one controller. Since no one goes at the same time, you could easily just hand your controller to someone else and you could literally play multiplayer with only one controller. The only problem is speed golf. Speed golf is where everybody goes at the same time. So I do not know how they're going to implement this. But if they are, I really hope they could do just split screen because I'm pretty sure that's the only way they could do it. Or maybe they could only do two players because the screen's going to be too small. But either way, I'm pretty sure speed golf is going to be a selling point to this game. And I'm probably going to like this mode. So that's why I'm really hoping for there to be multiplayer because we want more options. 
And Nintendo and online, I don't really like those two things together because it's not really the best. But I'm feeling optimistic here and I'm really hoping for the online to be very good. Especially since this is a golf game, there's really nothing going on. You only have one course and four players maximum. So I don't think it's going to affect the gameplay as much. Modes range from standard golf to energetic speed golf and an RPG like golf adventure and story mode. Intuitive motion or button controls, a shot gauge that adapts to the curve of the course and other new features that make it easy for both players and seasoned pros to drive and put with power. And that's another thing I like, new players and seasoned pros. So I really hope that there's going to be technique in this game. The gameplay looks basic, but I'm pretty sure even with that basic play style, there's going to be a lot more to it, especially with the speed golf with the items. But I'm really hoping for the standard golf to have strategy to it too. Swing simultaneously and make a break for the ball in speed golf. Tee off at the same time with three other players and race through the course to get your ball in first. Outpace and interrupt your opponents with dashes and special shots. Mario, for example, can blow other players' balls away. And that's something I like to hear. Different characters are going to have different styles of playing. And that's what I'm very excited for. So hopefully, let's say you go against Mario. Now you know he's going to blow your ball away. So maybe you could counter that with Yoshi or someone who is fast. So there's going to be a lot of techniques and strategies into this game. I could already tell. Rise through the ranks of golf training and story mode. Enroll your me character in golf training in a prestigious country club and go from rookie to pro. You'll face off against Mushroom Kingdom classmates and earn experience points. Level up to improve your character's status like power, movement, and speed. You can bring your character and their customized stats into other modes too. So pretty much it's explaining that you get to play as your me and you get to customize however you want, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is pretty exciting. So this is the very last part of the information. It's going to be released on June 25th, 2021, which is, thank God, this year. It's going to be up to four players, which it should because every Mario Golf game was always four players. It's sports, multiplayer genre. It's published by Nintendo, developed by Camelot, which I love Camelot a lot. They've been, I mean, they've been bare bones for a while, but they're always adding new different play styles, which makes the game a little bit more better, which I love that. The game file size is 4.9 gigabytes, which is almost 5 gigs. So it shouldn't be as much memory for your Switch. And hopefully with that amount of memory, there's going to be a lot more features because I'm pretty sure there's not going to be a lot of data when it comes to these courses because it's not that big. They should not take up that much space. So hopefully the rest of that space goes to different features and new game modes. So here are the supported play modes, which is a TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode, which is good because a lot of people own the Nintendo Switch Lite. So of course you have to figure out a way of how to play it with the controller, which I love that the Nintendo Switch Lite was made because that kind of discourages you from having motion controls and stick with button controls, which is good because you could use that for TV mode. And the last thing here is save data cloud. A lot of us are using the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch Lite. So since it's portable, there's a good chance that the Nintendo Switch could break or something could happen to it. So it's very good to back up your own data. And especially since there's rumors about the Nintendo Switch Pro coming out, a lot of us are going to want to upload that data into a new console. And hopefully this game could be playable on future Nintendo consoles as well. And that's pretty much it with the website. I hope that you are a little bit more informed about this game. I'm certainly more excited over this game than I was before. I am really looking forward to it. I feel like this is going to be a very strategic Mario game. I don't want to lower my expectations because... If I do that, then I'm not going to get hyped or I'm just going to feel like this or whatever. But I also don't want to have high expectations because I'm going to be very excited and get disappointed at the very end. So I'm just going to stay my thoughts in the middle. It might be a good game. It has potential, but at the same time, it could also mess up. But either way, I am very excited for this game. I don't usually get bored of Mario Golf that easily. I still play Mario Golf, Toadstool Tour, and Mario Golf World Tour. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're a beginner and just looking into Mario Golf, hopefully this video could teach you a little bit about this game. 
Let me know if you're trying out this game for the first time or let me know if you're a pro who have been playing for years and is planning to get this game and tell me if you like the changes they made for this game. Are you excited for this game? Do you think it's going to be strategic or do you think it's just going to be another bare bones Mario game? Let me know down in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.